Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the last question in section 1.1, part 2. And here's the question. The points 5, negative 3 and 3, 7 are endpoints of a diameter of a circle. Determine the center of the circle. Now, sometimes when students read this question, a couple things they do wrong. They use the distance formula when they should really be using the midpoint formula. Let me help you differentiate. The center of a circle is a location, correct? A center of a circle is a point. It's where the circles, you know, it's an ordered pair. The distance formula doesn't find an ordered pair. The distance formula finds length. So when I say determine the center of a circle, you're determining location. So the midpoint formula should come to mind. Now another thing that helps in this problem is drawing a picture. So I'm not going to make this perfectly accurate. But let's see. This is the ordered pair 5, negative 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. This is the ordered pair 5, negative 3. Right? It's in quadrant 4. And the other is the ordered pair 3, 7. 3, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The ordered pair 3, 7. That's in quadrant 1. Now, these two points are told to be endpoints of a diameter of a circle. Now, don't laugh at my circle, but you get an idea. There's obviously a circle going through these two points. See, it's kind of a sad circle, but you get the rough idea. It's a circle. This is a diameter. 3, 7 is one end point. 5, negative 3 is the other. Where is the center of the circle? Well, a center of a circle is always midway between the end points of a diameter, so it's right there. Well... How do I find a point that's midway between two other points? I apply the midpoint formula. A midpoint formula, which in this case is going to be the center of the circle. Remember how we always find midpoint. We average. We take the 3 and the 5 and we average them, which means add them together and divide by 2. We take the 7 and the negative 3 which means we add them together and divide by 2. That's how you average something. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Three, uh, rather, 7 plus negative 3. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So this, the ordered pair 4, 2, is the center of my circle. So with a problem like this, let me make a suggestion. A picture helps, and notice it doesn't have to be perfect, okay? But it helped you, and you know, I know my circle's a little lopsided, but forgive me, okay? Um, but it helps me see that what I'm looking for is a use of the midpoint formula, and that is the whole key to this problem. So when in doubt, draw a picture, even if it's a little weird. Okay.